Nolan. Hi. I'm here with Nolan today, and we're going to demonstrate some sand work interventions. Uh, three, actually, that we're going to show everybody Daddy, how what's to do. An, what's an intervention? Like a game or activity. Oh. And we've got our sand tray right here. We've got our miniatures behind us, and we're going to show three different ways to do some sand work uh, with the sand tray. Some sort of traditional, and then some other maybe not traditional ideas. And basically we're focusing on kids with developmental disorders and some of their unique issues and needs as we go through these, these three interventions. Are you ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Me too! I love the sand tray! So this is a pretty traditional sand tray. It's wood, it's painted blue, we've got our soft sort of beige sand Daddy, in here. And that's what we're going to work off of today. Are sand trays usually painted blue? They usually are on the bottom and sides. Why? Um, it's kind of part of the sand tray setup. Oh. And, but, if you were working with kids who didn't like sand, you could use a different uh, material. And we do have a YouTube video on that that you can watch. Uh, oh. Alternatives to the sand, if you want to see what some of the other options are. But today, oh, excuse me, today you and me are going to work in the sand, okay? Okay. So the first intervention is one that I do to help work on connection and engagement, to help maybe increase just connection and engagement skills with a child who is not demonstrating those abilities or skills very well. Uh, and also there's a little bit of social skill work in here as well. With this, it's called hide and find. Ooh. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? I don't know what this is, but I know by the name we're probably gonna hide something and try <laughs> yeah. to hide it. I want you to go first. Okay. And you're going to look at the miniatures behind me. You're gonna pick one to hide in the sand. I'm gonna have my back turned around so I can't see. But pick a miniature that like means something important to you. Okay. Because when I find it, you can share with me why you chose that miniature, okay. why it was important to you, okay? Okay. And then I'll go after you're done and I'll do one, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this way so I can't see. I'm not looking. Hopefully you can reach everything that you're looking for. And then you put that in the sand tray and bury it. And I will try to find it. Daddy, yeah. this one is kind of big, so there's gonna be a big lump in the sand, so. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be pretty so, obvious where it is. Uh, sometimes it happens that way, especially if it's a big miniature, right? Big and miniature, big and miniature shouldn't be in the same sentence. Except um, that miniature, that's right. miniature doesn't mean big. That's true. Good point. Well, it sounds like you found something right off. Yep. Okay. I'm trying to bury it. Okay. But it's a big miniature. Well, I'm excited to see what it is. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm, okay, well you did tell me that it was oh. probably in the big pile. Oh yeah, a little sand came out, didn't it? Sometimes that happens. Okay, I'm going here. We'll take care of it later, okay. Oh my gosh. Well, I think I found it of what we've got here. So you want to tell me why you picked this miniature? Because mm -hmm. I like the Marvel movies uh -huh. a lot. And um, I really, my favorite character is Iron Man. So that's why I chose Iron Man. And look, I think he's even on your shirt right there. Yep. Okay, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna do one. And you're gonna try to find it, okay? 
So turn around so there's no leaking. I think I actually was thinking about what I wanted to do. And let's see if I can find it. Oh, no looking. <laughs> I'm going to bury this. And then we'll see if you can. Now, mine's kind of small, so it might be a little bit harder to find. Might be a little bit more investigation you have to do here, okay? But you'll find it. You'll find it. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see if you can find the miniature. And then I'll share with you what it is, okay? So much sand on the floor. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. cool, kind of like how, how you kind of did like different sand dunes everywhere. Yeah. To you make know. me like keep looking. You you figured out I was doing that on purpose, didn't you? And why? Oh, I think you found something. It's a stereo, a radio. Boombox stereo. Boombox. So I chose this because I like music. I like listening to music and playing music. Yep. So we both chose something that was important to us and shared with each other. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. And we could go on and do more. We could do, you could do another one, then I could do another one, and we could kind of keep going until we didn't want to play anymore. But I think for just showing everybody how this intervention's done, I think we're ready to move on to the next one. What do mm -hmm. you think? Cool. I do like your Iron Man, though. Thanks. I'll just keep him right here by us. Okay, so uh, let's talk about a second sand tray intervention. This is one that we can do to help with regulation work. Okay, and this is kind of more of a traditional sand tray idea, where we're going to really try to create a tray. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a sand tray that is all about feeling relaxed and feeling calm, okay? okay. We'll pick all that up later, okay? Yeah. Let's just ignore it right now. Okay. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to divide this tray in half, like kind of right down the middle. You want to draw a line? So... We'll say this half is yours, and this half is mine, okay? Looks pretty good. And what we're going to each make, using any of the miniatures we want, are things that represent feeling calm and relaxed for us. You know what feeling calm is? Yep. You know what feeling relaxed is like? Yeah, I like this, like... Oh, yeah. Just relaxed, not upset, not stressed, not worried. You just feel good, right? So I want you to put anything you want on your side that kind of makes you think of being relaxed. And I'll do the same thing on my side, and then when we're done, we'll share, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? Oh, we gotta find our music tools. You're going to town already. You know what you're looking for, don't you? Mm-hmm. And I know some things are up high, so if you need me to get it for you, just let me know. And I knocked the light bulb over. It looks like. I also need some palm trees. Okay. But there are more palm trees. Let's just see what you can find, okay? Okay. I 
was thinking like Chinese garden. Chinese garden? Okay. Chinese garden type vibes. <laughs> Chinese garden type vibes. <laughs> Babies to feel relaxed. That's just what they, what the type of stuff they say on talk shows. Like, the, on The mass Singer, they yeah. say like, I'm getting like this name type of vibes. Oh, well, yeah. They always do that. If anyone's watched The Masked Singer, they're awesome. At least I think they're awesome. In the world, do you think this is? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. You could bush. probably use it for bush. A, bush. Yeah, you could use it for a bush or anything that you wanted to. Where do you get like those these things? Hmm. Well, some of those are up high. Kind of hard to see all of it in there, isn't it? Hmm. You can take as long as you want. You're finding everything you want to put in your relaxing tray. And here is the bridge that separates the two relaxing okay. trays. Okay. All right. Are you all finished? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to see if we should share. Do you want to go first and share your relaxing tray and I, how it's relaxing for you? I want to share mine. Okay. So, <laughs> so I want to share mine. So, this is a rainbow. Usually rainbows make people like feel happy, right? So, like, I added a rainbow, of course. And I had all these cool types of flowers and and trees. This tree. That's the only cool tree. And um I just thought they were maybe I thought they were maybe just like cool. I picked these because Chinese gardens usually have like pink flowers like this, blossoms on the trees. And I think Chinese gardens are very relaxing and I got some trees. I got waves because waves are really relax, rela relaxing to people, some people. Um, mm -hmm. Trees, because trees are trees, you need trees. And um, I added this little wood path up to this house. And I just thought the wood path was cool and nice. And I had this little sterile yeah. boombox, yeah. What, whatever you call it. And um, I had that because you could, listening to music is calm sometimes. So you really thought of like a lot of different things that feel calm to you, help you relax. And you put them all in here. Yeah, and I can see it. And then you added this, which connected our two calm places. We had similar ideas, because I put in a lot of nature in mine. Yes. And a bridge and palm trees, and like a garden. You said like a Chinese yes. garden type Chinese feel. gardens yeah. are relaxing. Yeah, I felt the same way. Like, like I like these two things that you made. Now it's like almost like one big one we can walk, or we can walk around and be relaxed in. And you know what sounds like, Nolan, that you have experienced this before? You've listened to music and it relaxed you. You were been in like 
a garden or a park or saw things that relaxed you because you kind of knew what to put in there. Mm. <laughs> so, so you've seen a wave before. Yeah, I've seen waves. Yeah. Um, I put the wave in here because waves are relaxing other people. Like I think, oh, like okay. mommy, uh -huh. waves are relaxing too. Oh, okay. You knew that that was something that was relaxing to some people. Mm -hmm. Well, you got everything in there and really represented relaxing for you, it's, which is a good feeling, right? Mm -hmm. It's a feeling that we like to have. And this? Tree is prickly. <laughs> it is prickly. So when you, will you do me a favor actually? Yeah. Will you help kind of put these things back in their spot? Yeah, well. While I talk a little bit and then I'll help you too? Yeah. Okay, I'll be finished. So when you do this type of tray Ooh. that's kind of more traditional, yes? When, aren't you going to share yours? Oh, I kind of did share it with you. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. So when you do this type of tray that's more maybe traditional with a directive, um, there's a couple things just to take note when you're working with kids with developmental disorders. Number one, they may need a few more instructions or a few more explaining. You might even need to role model kind of what you're wanting them to do. They may struggle sometimes with the symbolism if it's too symbolic. Uh, so that just means there may be some additional prompting. You may feel more directive, you may feel more involved uh, than you would with a neurotypical child. Uh, and then obviously, you're probably going to be more interactive, uh, typically. So that might feel a little differently than what you're used to with some traditional sand tray therapy. But that really is something that you will gauge based on the child that you're working with and how much more they might need from you versus what they don't need. Okay. So, look at you. You almost have everything put back. You're fast. Yep. <laughs> okay, Nolan, for our third and final intervention example, we're going to do a turn-taking tray. Oh, that sounds fun. So we can work on some social skills. This is a nice way to work on social skills with kids who need to work on social skills, which a lot of kids with developmental disorders do. And this is a way to work on taking turns, uh, working with another person, and actually completing something together. So the way this works is we're going to take turns. You're going to go first. You're going to go pick a miniature, anything you want and put it anywhere you want in the sand tray. Then I will take a turn and do that. Then you will take a turn and then I will take a turn. And we're gonna do four turns, okay? okay. So we'll each have four miniatures that we put in the sand tray somewhere. And then when we're done, we'll kind of take a look and see what we've created, okay? I personally really liked um, the idea, uh -huh. the second one. Or the first one? I'm not sure. The second one, yeah. Okay. Um, when we made two thing, oh, made things. The relaxation trade we yeah. just did. I think we together uh -huh. could maybe do some like scaly things or extinct things mm -hmm. or machines. Well, you know what? On your turn, you get to pick any miniature you want, okay? Okay. And we can get started. You can go first, all okay. right? Okay. I'll speed out of your way a little bit. Sorry, I kind of changed the subject there. Oh, that's okay. Hmm. It looks like you're thinking of what you want to choose. Oh, and you want to go up top. Do you need some help with anything? No. Okay. You can get it all by yourself. Okay, you've got your turn. Now my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna do this. Oh, 
Okay. Can I do something with yours? Uh, you can do whatever you want on your turn. Oh, come on, man. That doesn't fit. <laughs> something specific. I see that. The people tray. You're trying to find something the people. Really specific. Person trapped in a cage. Okay, so my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this. Okay, your turn. We've got two more turns. have one turn left. Yep. One plus four equals eight. And we have six. Texture, that's cool. Feel that the texture of it is really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Off subject. Snake's about to eat the person. Okay, looks like I've got one last turn, right? Mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to do this right here. Well, we did our four turns, and you did the turn taking really well. So, what did we come up with here? We each picked whatever we wanted, and this is our final result. What do you think? <laughs> Any thoughts about what we created here? I think it just one word. Uh huh. Scary. Scary. There's or, a, there is a scary theme, or right? Or torture, something. We just kind of, I don't know, followed each other, didn't we? With what we were. Scary picking. torture type thing. Scary torture or something. Maybe we were thinking about Halloween because we're so close to it. But you know what? It was a good example of taking turns, waiting for someone else to take a turn, and then winding up doing something together, which is pretty cool. And you did a good job with that. So this is a good example of one type of tray you can do to help work on social skills. Again, Anytime you're working with kids with autism and related issues, you may have to do a little more prompting, some role modeling, a little more guidance. You may be more interactive and do all those things more than you're used to when you work with neurotypical kids. That wouldn't be unusual, uh, but there's some good ideas here, hopefully to kind of give you an example of how you can use sand tray work traditionally or maybe some new ways to work on connection, engagement, to work on social skills, 
and even as sort of a regulation tool as well. So uh, I think we're going to wrap it up. Okay. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to the YouTube page, connect with us through our Facebook page, LinkedIn, our website. Uh, keep watching our videos and coming back. You thank you, Nolan. Website? Yeah. That's thank great. you for helping me. You did a great job. Thanks. And uh, let's say goodbye. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time.